continuing our examination of the great Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita, there's one really interesting aspect of this book that I want to talk about today. And that is that uh, the great warrior Arjuna receives instruction from his charioteer, who happens to be Krishna, in other words, God in human form. And what's interesting about this concept, and it absolutely reflects the whole Christian concept, is that when God appears uh, in human form, when God takes mortal form and appears on earth, at least according to the Gita and according to the New Testament, he does not come as a great king uh, surrounded by armies and illustrious people or dressed in gold and with a crown. He comes as the most humble servant, just as Jesus came as a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief and the, the, the uh, verse of the stone that the builders rejected became the cornerstone of the temple. Same thing with the Bhagavad Gita. So that Krishna, God, appears to Arjuna as his servant, as his charioteer. And in the Bhagavad Gita, um, Arjuna sometimes gets kind of cross with Krishna and orders him around a little bit. But what's interesting is Krishna's attitude, i.e. God's attitude, towards Arjuna. It is always one of unconditional love and of the sense that, and again, this sort of reflects the Christian concept of the personal savior, that no matter what you do, Arjuna, I will always be here with you. No crime that you can commit, nothing you can do or say will ever break the bonds between us. And it's, I think it's a really deep idea that when the highest form of divinity appears on earth, he appears as he or she appears as a servant. When we talk about a servant, that God appears as a servant or as a man of sorrow, he is also often despised. And the powers that be put their knee on the neck of this person and crush them, try to crush them. And yet that person according to all of the great spiritual disciplines, is the divinity himself or herself. So it's a little something to think about. It's a part of our, the evil part of our nature that wants to put our knee on the neck of the divine part of our nature. And so that's one of the great truths, I think, both of the New Testament and of the Bhagavad Gita.